We now come to the last question asked by the Honorable J.S. Malema to the President of the Republic. The Honorable, the President. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <coughs> the matter relating to the security upgrades in Gandla is being discussed by Parliament through the ad hoc committee on the police minister's report. I have also responded to Parliament on this matter before. I submitted a, a report to the Speaker and to the Speaker in August last year. I believe the question is premature as matters have not yet been concluded by this very house. I will respond further to the debate around this matter once all processes have been concluded. I thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Malema. No, thank, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. The President is not answering my question because uh, I'm not talking about those other things you are talking about. But before I go there, it is so embarrassing that your minister attacks judiciary, you know nothing about it. Your minister close a mind, Lenko, you know nothing about it. And that becomes a response of a sitting state president which is a huge embarrassment for this country, Mr. President. The Nkandla matter has been a big problem for all of us because we believe strongly that you must pay something. So don't tell me about video games of Ntlego. I don't recognize those video games. He must go and play them with his kids in his house. <laughs> the only report which is legitimate and legal, legal, is the advocate Tulima Donzela's report. And not this illegal activities which has been happening here in this parliament, uh, ANC, other committee on Tlecos report, helped by the opposition to undermine Tulima Donzela's report. My question is very simple, uh, Mr. President. When are you paying back the money? Because that is what the public protector said you must do. Not who must do what and all those things. They, you have never responded, even on the report you wrote to Parliament. You have never given a date and the method you are going to use. You can engage any other process. It will not help you because it comes back to one question. When are you paying back the money? So that is the question South Africans want to know. And that is the answer we are prepared to accept, not any other form of answer except the date and the method you are going to use to pay back the money. The Honorable, the President. Honorable Speaker, I've answered this question. I have. Honorable Speaker. No, Honorable Shibambo, but, I but have a he list. Not answered the question. The I have question a list. about paying back the money, when is he going to do so? Honorable Shibambu, I said earlier on in this house, when Honorable Stian Azen was standing there, he might not like the answer, but that the, an answer had been given. This is a is question and answer session, by the way. It's this factual is and answer, that there is an answer to to which of. you are not happy about, but an answer nonetheless. That's, that's what I'm trying to prevail on you. O on the point about. of order, uh, Speaker. No, Honorable Members. On, on the point of order, Speaker. No, Honorable on, on Members. On the point of order, Speaker, I, I need to address you on one thing. No. I think there is a growing trend by yourself, all you speakers that when the president Honourable answers questions, members. he answers the way he wishes and he says, I have answered. I think Honourable it defeats members. the role of this very same house 
that you as a speaker to facilitate discussions. Honorable you support, members. You would support the scenario when a question is asked, it's not answered satisfactory, and you want us to just do business like that. I think it is self-defeating for the purpose of this house, and I think you as speaker have the responsibility to protect the integrity of this house. Honorable but at members. all times when questions are asked, they must be answered satisfactory. And we can't allow that to proceed anymore. Because it means the president must not come to parliament. What is the purpose of, of the president to come Honorable to parliament? Honorable member. He comes to parliament, answers you questions are where screaming. he wishes, and you support that as a presiding officer. You are you screaming. You have a duty to all of us. You not have not been given the You have a duty to South the Africans. Floor. The issue of Nkanda, the issue of Nkanda, Honorable Speaker, has the profile has risen outside there. It has risen. I'm from school as I'm, as I'm, as I'm here today. My classmate said that when you go to parliament, you must go and ask a question on Kandla. We have been on the ground when there was constituency time. The community has been saying, go and ask the president on the question of Nkanda. We can't have a scenario where you as speaker we need to protect the function of this parliament, continue to undermine that function. Uh, a Honourable point of speaker. order, Chair. Point of order. Okay. Point of order. I now... Yes, Honorable Zulu. Uh, Honorable Speaker, we keep repeating one and the same thing. We adopted a rule that does not allow members to speak without being given permission. Now, a situation is being created in the House where some honorable members stand up and make statements, long statements, without interjection. Honorable Speaker, it is not acceptable. There is supposed to be order in the House. The, the rules of this House are not meant for one side and not the other side of the House. We beg, Honorable Speaker, we can't have some Honorable members standing up and grandstanding and insulting this house Order. without. Order. You know, Honorable Speaker, Mistress Ginger must not do this. Why are you allowing Mistress Ginger to talk like this? It's not going to happen. President Zuma has not responded to a simple Honorable question Josie. as to when he's going to. I'm speaking, Honorable Speaker. I want President Honorable Zuma Josie. to respond. You have President, no right to speak when, are you when going I have to not recognized you. Oh. I have not recognized you. I had not recognized oh, Honorable oh. Chewane. I had not recognized him. And may honorable members speaker, just take upon them. No, speaker, honorable member. May I be recognized? No, honorable. Then I'm going to have to ask, where is the president? No, going to honorable comply member. With the recommendations of the public protector and pay back the money. I am recognizing honorable uh, 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 Mulder. But, uh, Honourable, honourable Speaker, um, I'm a bit concerned that we've come through this process. The EFF had the opportunity to ask their question, and it seems that now we are being put in a position where we cannot continue. I ask you to please continue with the questions for the follow-up questions in terms of the list that you've received, that we can proceed with this question. We stood up, and you recognize the man over there. This is a tendency of ignoring us. Honourable Paulson, this session is a question session for all honorable members of this house to participate Speaker, in. I and I have the now the honorable member Olomisa. Can I ask a question? And after uh, him, Speaker, it will be honorable Stianazen. After that, uh, he's an honorable member of, of the NFP. Speaker, Speaker, uh, we can't uh, have uh, members from one, one party. Please just holding the floor. No, I, I'm not prepared not to, to, to this house. No, He's honorable no member. Of the Constitution. He's got no respect of the law. Honorable of this member, I have not what recognized you. Is, when is he going to pay the money? It's a simple question. It's a simple question. And we're asking at the right platform because this is a question and answer sec section. Thank you. Honorable Olomisa Thank as you. a follow up Before for the follow up. Honorable Olomisa, Chair. Yeah. 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 Honorable Speaker. Point of order, please. No. I'm here. No, I uh, am recognizing your leader, Honorable Olomisa. Yeah, I want you to honorable. recognize him, please. Yes, that's what I've done. That's what I'm saying here Point for. Of honorable order, please. Honorable, honorable speak. 
Honorable Olomisa. Honorable Speaker. No, Honorable Mbata, take your seat. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Mbata, I have not recognized you. Can you take Honorable your seat? Honorable Mbata, <laughs> Speaker, our leader must speak now. Honorable Olomisa. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On a point of order, uh, Speaker. Uh, Mr. President, on a point of order, speaker. the leader must not be disturbed. He must on speak. A point it of is order, speaker. Sit down, man. You didn't. No, 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 no. Sit down. The leader must speak. Few sit down. Down. Hey, Honorable speaker. speaker, these people must. I have not recognized you, Honorable Member. Please take your seat. This UDM uh, mustn't be allowed to speak here. They haven't even got six percent. Honorable Speaker, I. Can I please address you? No, I don't want you to address me, Honorable Member. But I have recognized say, Honorable on Olomisa. I have recognized Honorable Olomisa. Uh, Ngamalala. I feel like I'm on a point of order, Speaker. Speaker, on a point of order. No. There's a matter of Nkantla being raised in this house. And the President... Honorable Member, to that. I have not recognized you. Honorable Speaker, there's recognize me. I'm not recognizing you honorable speaker, because I have already recognized an honorable member. Questions. You can't up, jump up and down. There's a matter raised Honorable Mukawuse, take your seat. Honorable Mukawuse, take your seat. Motabai Shikiro. Honorable speaker, may we address you and assist you in this? No. Question? That's the answer. It's going to be in the interest of progress. No, Honorable Kadi. Uh, no, that's the answer. Madam, because there's an honorable member recognized by the chair who Madam is Speaker, standing there. It's a point of order. No. We need to address you in a point of order. I, it I arises am saying out of the, the answer rules is no. Of Parliament. The rule allows us to raise no. a point of order, and a point of order cannot be. You Refused. don't have a limitless right to abuse the rules of the House on the basis that you can continue going up and down, disrupting us, because you believe that you can tell us Madam that is Speaker, because of a rule. We want Honorable Gadi, you. please take your seat. Honorable Speaker. Please, Honorable the Members, the, president the person I have recognized is Honorable Olomisa. You must give us a day. Recognize me, Speaker. Honorable Olomisa, please talk. Uh, Mr. You, president. The Honorable Truth, sir. The Honorable Truth, sir, will speak on a point of privilege. The Honorable Truth, sir, for his civil authority. It's simple. We go to Malamu President. We face the river. People don't use the soil. We use soil. Shakara na kara. We didn't know that. Honorable Speaker, we have to. We've tolerated this for too long. This is absolute nonsense. We have a right to be here. We are not going to be told by you when to speak. My leader is on the floor. He is going to speak. No, did you? I know, Chief. No, but no. Honorable Mulauzi. Honorable Mulauzi, take your seat. Yeah, I wanted to help you. No, but I don't want your help, Honorable Mulaudi. Take your seat. Okay. But speaker, you must protect us. We're paring our discriminations here. Okay. Honorable. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Can my mailing go on? Mr. President. Mr. Sarupisan. The public protector. Kasampo, kasampo. Mr. Sarupisan. Kese kesampile. Nerukupa fella who boats a hasi, Hariluani, in a little fella who commanded Taki say, Gorena Muka Meruana Hanta Tezuma Opata la Juan Ning Chalete Asichab, Kiona Poto Fell and Rukupari, Re Taki says, Kumuka Meruana, Motamai Sari Pisan. Honorable Murapela, I have not given you the right to speak. And I can tell that the honorable members of the EFF 
are now bent on disrupting the business of the Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. I'm sitting here. Honorable Speaker. I'm sitting here. Don't don't generalize. I'm sitting here. Honorable Speaker. Don't generalize. If that is the plan, it won't work. I'm sitting down. Please. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Member, please sit down. Okay, Jatela Galogu, Jatela Mshoni Pekiwam, Uta Talo Ungu President. Enge ka penduli. Aku kanto iso luga kulendu, dan kenda ato na kala. Kuti kakufika kulenda uya senkanda. Kufele kushugu misizo, inaishina, hai EFF. Nina nikimi, nama EFF li funa le mali. Si funi mali, si 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 iswe. No tata maga pendu ule. Honorable Sonji. Ewe. Honorable Sonji. Ewe. Ka uta le pansi si. Mucha, mucha kutla. Mucha kutla. Kutwa fela ya kore. Mo presidente o patala le mali. Kyo le kanchang pieta mudumo kanakan. Kakore tinyo ya ona yeta kezi. Riboni. Presidente akoke chele teja na fela kwa bankeki. Apatele madi aschaba. Somlomu. 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 As born into Enzima, into Banalba, who president, Anga, Choba, Uyo, Ipata, Lanini, Iman. Sifuna, Njo, Ukonba, Uyo, Ipata, Lanini, Kanjan. Hey, Kona, Gunungi, La Pela, Manje. Angitin, Saba, Anitin, Angoba, Oreji, Sani, Skashi, Ravanta, Bazo, Smulala. Basmulala, Lenganda, Lemali. Lanela, O, Abandu, Baya, Ifuna, Lemali. I'm going back with Tina CFF. And the president, when I was a letter, I'm going to be a man. When you first want to get a man, but you should have a man. A small lad, man, you should have a man. 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 You should it's obvious that the Honourable Member, whether their leader is sitting or not sitting, are bent on disrupting the progress. You are. Because right now you are saying, unless we recognize you and allow only you, we can't proceed with the rest of the list of people who must be recognized as part of this question session. I recognize Honorable uh, Olumisa. Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Microphone. Okay, okay, George. Honorable Speaker. Thank you. I have recognized, I've recognized the Honorable Holomisa. Honorable Speaker, I wanted to allow Honorable Holomisa to ask the follow-up question. You are recognized. Thank you. <laughs> Honorable Shibambu. Point of order, Chair. Point of uh, Honorable Shibambu, that's out of order. You are not the one deciding when and who is recognized. All right. All right, Mama. Amalala, Pagama Mshegas, no go. Mr. President, the public protector investigated your private property, made findings, and took appropriate remedial actions against you, not the cabinet, nor this parliament. Don't you consider to save this house and the nation by simply applying for a judicial review, given that you have challenged the findings by the public protector? And this house cannot 
act as an appeal authority on a matter that does not belong here. I see some shagas Gapan, the Sislandele, Paguma, Maupen, Sitagula, Naye, Oite, Wofunyan Subakonde, wrong, why we challenge outside the Kubelaganum Seve. So, the Honorable the President. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. <coughs> the public report, uh, the public protector reports to Parliament and she has done so. And she has made recommendations because one of the mistakes I think some members are making is to believe that she made a judgment. It's not a judgment. It's a recommendation that parliament must deal with. And parliament is seized with the issue. On a and point it is of going order, to get to speak. the conclusion on a point of order, and it will speak. take a decision on Madam the basis speaker, on a point of, of order, order the, Gadi, the president. discussion Honorable that would have gone on in this parliament. Please don't interrupt in the middle of a so statement. So that is my answer to you. Is no, Honorable Gadi. The nation no, no, Honorable Gadi. Gadi. You are wrong. Please take your seat. Thank you, Madam Can speaker. I be recognized, Madam Speaker, no. on a point of order? You must president. allow yourself not to be recognized sometimes. It's fine. It's a point of order. I Madam now Speaker. recognize Honorable uh, Stian Azen. Madam Speaker, we request to be recognized to assist the country and the House on the misleading statement by the President. Can Honorable we be allowed Stian that Azen, process? Please, uh, uh, you are on the floor. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Ma Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Shibambu, the, please no, but, allow but Honorable Stian Azen to speak. But Honorable Speaker, can you allow, can you please? The answer please? is no. When I'm not allowing you, I'm no, not but, allowing but, but, you. But allow order, other honorable members house. to also speak. Don't hoard the space. But a point of order is allowed in this house. Where do you get the authority no, to design, deny? because your points of order are actually not points you of order. You do not know what I am telling about. you. Honorable Stian Madam, Madam, <laughs> Madam Speaker, thank you very much. But the Speaker, this is unfair what you are doing. We have rights as members of parliament to rise on a point of order, Rule 70. It allows us. Hey, Ankulum Nawewen. Just shut up, when. <laughs> Madam Speaker, can you treat us fairly here? You can must you also be a chairperson of this in house? In a manner that allows the house to proceed order, in an orderly fashion. We do want to do that under no. Rule 70. No, Honorable. And Rule 70 allows us, Madam Speaker, but you just ill-treat us. You are treating us as stepchildren in this house. Madam Speaker, we are voted to be here. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, you called us to order earlier on. We sat down. We listened to the question of Honorable Olomis. In the process of the president answering, there was a point of order. It's only fair that we follow the rules. No, honorable Don't honorable preempt us, honorable speaker, please. Please, allow honorable Gadi to call her order, and then you make a ruling about it. Honorable, That's how it is. Honorable Unfo Malema. Unfortunately, speaker, it's supposed to be like that. It doesn't matter how much we irritate you. Don't be irritated to a point where you, you forget the rules. Honorable Malema, I, know I, I recognize you and allow to But we are a necessary irritation. Please allow us to Because you are a leader of a political party. Let's Can allow Can I order. ask you to please help and be leader-like? Absolutely. I have no problem. That's why I'm leading. Allow Honorable Gadi to call a point of order. Honorable Stian Azen. I've seen the two hands, Honorable Singh and Honorable Mulder, but I'd like to allow Honorable Stian Azen to proceed. 
Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it's amazing that when the Democratic Alliance first raised the issue of Nkandla and were fighting this very hard, there were other members of this House who were running around saying they were going to take up arms and kill for Zuma. Now they want to send a bill to Zuma. But, but, and you have passed a rule to people to come here and kill us. You passed a rule. You passed a rule that people must come here oh, and nah. kill us. Oh, Don't nah. be a racist, Honorable Steinheise. Don't be a racist. Be transformed. This is a new day. You are the one that passed a rule for people to come beat people up here. You are worse because you are in parliament and you passed a rule in parliament. Thank you. you enjoy the beating of black people, I think. We don't support the use of violence in any matter. But let me say that um, with reference to the Western Cape High Court judgment, where Justice Skipper said, and I quote, it seems so that before rejecting the findings or remedial action of the public protector, the relevant organ of state must have cogent reasons for doing so. That is for reasons other than merely a preference for its own view. Mr. President, can you explain on what basis in law have the recommendations of the public protector made in her report Secure and Comfort with respect to Nkandla, and I said it right, been substituted by those of the Minister of Police, who was appointed by you, reports to you, and owes his political existence to you. The Honorable the President. Honorable Speaker, <clears throat> as I understand, the public protector brought the report to Parliament. And the Parliament engaged the point of in order, the process Madam Speaker. Of if only, doing Madam Speaker, you can work. listen to this point of order, <coughs> and then we will in the be process able of to that, you have to moved deal with the misleading statement. And the there were recommendations. Give us that opportunity. You allow the, the person who's on the floor to speak and finish. Do what is asked by the report of the public protector that the minister of police will make a determination. And this is what the Minister of Police has done. And your parliament is at the moment discussing the issue after the visit that they made at Nkandla. The process is still on. I don't see why should I come to the point of law and determine why this must be done or that one. You have a process as this house which is not yet concluded. And you are doing what is, we were supposed to do with the report that was brought to you. It was not just brought to you to look at it. The recommendations were there. You were supposed to say what then should happen. And the process has moved forward. I'm saying the process has not been completed. Why then should we think we should have a final word? I don't see any logic to it. Absolutely. <coughs> Thank Honor you. Honorable Madam. Mulder. Madam Speaker, we have requested to be recognized. Thank you, Honorable Mulder. I have not, I have not point, recognized there you. There is a point of you order. You say you have requested, so can you just take a seat? But can we deal with a point of order? Because Thank you. I have recognized Mulder. Honorable Mulder, and I would like you to take a the seat. House, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Um, I've asked to be recognised, and you've recognised me. The, I think we've got a problem, Honourable Speaker, and we all know that this is a rather serious matter. The, the problem is this, that the President, in his original reply to the question of the Honourable Malema, as well as to the subsequent questions being asked, in all respects replied by saying, Parliament is busy with its own process, and the process has not been finalised. That's what the, the essence of the President's questions were. But, Madam Speaker, the problem is this. When the question was asked, it was allowed by the questions office to be put on the order paper for today. And I think that the, that the question office liaises with the presidency when questions are sorted out. Now, the problem is if the, the question were not to be handled today because the process has not been finalized, it should not be on the order paper for today's business, or the question paper. So you've got a problem now. It's, it's, it, it was accepted as a valid question. It's on the order paper to be dealt with, but we do not get the answers because the president is of the view 
that Parliament's process has not been completed. And that creates a problem to the frustration of all. Well, <coughs> unfortunately, I don't have the authority to interfere with this issue. As far as I know, there's a, a parliamentary process that is ongoing. There is a process arising out of the investigation that was done of people who are being charged. And I'm sure during the cases, it will come to light if there were people who ate money, who are those people? The pr there are processes that I cannot interfere, even if I'm a president. I can't interfere with investigation and court proceedings or parliamentary proceedings. You know, if I said anything before these processes are over, I will actually be interfering and doing a wrong thing. These processes are as a result of the investigation, and I think the normal thing is to allow these processes to come to their conclusions, and then we react to the final conclusions or outcomes. So that's the reason why I can't interfere. Yes, Thank you, Madam Speaker. Before I recognize you, Honorable Maimane, can I take Honorable Singh? Thank you. Thank, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, uh, I trust you are giving me uh, the opportunity to ask a question. No. I, no, all right. Then I must ri arise on a point of order. Mm. But I don't know if it's relevant at this stage of the game because all the questions have been asked. Mm. But in any case, I want to put it on record that some honorable members are very rich in their demeanor here to talk about respecting the rules of this house. Rule 49 says, precedence of presiding officer. Whenever the presiding officer rises during a debate, which means when you speak, mm. Madam Speaker, mm. any member then speaking or offering to speak shall resume his or her seat and the presiding officer shall be heard without interruption. That did not happen in this house today. And it's sad that that did not happen because members of this house do not respect the very rules that we've drawn up for ourselves. Mm. That's the point I wanted to make. Honorable Thank Speaker. you, Honorable Singh. Mm. Uh, Honorable Maimane. Thanks, Speaker. I just wanted to, it's a different, it's a point that the President made, which is to say the process of Parliament is being done. The issue is in the Public Protector's report, it says, yes, the president must take assistance with National Treasury and the SEPs to determine a reasonable amount. The second point to that says, pay back a reasonable percentage of the cost as determined with the assistance of National Treasury. The question on the order paper speaks to the second step, whether the president is prepared to make a payment of a percentage of the cost, not a, the first, which is the process order. that ad hoc committees Point engage. of order. Honorable Chief Whip. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, he is not going to talk. I have raised a point of order before. Honorable I, Gadi, I don't you, get you permission keep, from you, Gadi, You to keep speak. making these instructions. <laughs> Honorable Gadi, I don't get permission from you to speak. The point of order, Honorable Speaker, we have always been disciplined and patient. We have come to a point where there is no further uh, supplementary question. Mm. Why can't we stop this process and this abuse, please? Thank you very much, Honor Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Chief Whip. Honorable Speaker. No, Honorable. No, uh, uh, I will members. be very brief. I will be very brief. Just brief. It's very I'm clear. I'm just being generous. Yes. Thank you. Honorable members. And, uh, yes. and today you have been so nice, you know. You didn't call those people outside there. So we really, this is the type of leadership we want. It's very clear we'll never get an answer, Mr. President. Let's meet in court. Thank you very much. Honorable members, the Honorable the President has responded to all questions on the order paper. And therefore, the question session is over.